Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here. Uh, right now I'm going to be doing a malware removal video. Uh, I got multiple tools here. Uh, let's see, we got CCleaner, Combo Fix, uh, Hitman Pro, Malware Bytes, Norton Power Eraser, and Super Anus Spyware. Um, these are some of the programs you can use if you have a PC that is in trouble of malware. Uh, hang on, let me line this up. Okay, there we go, sorry. Uh, but if your PC is in trouble with malware, um, I'll be happy to help you guys how to remove it out. But uh, these are some of the tools you can use. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to actually load up my computer or this virtual machine with malware. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, so uh, I'm back right now. And as you can see, I just downloaded some malware off the computer. Or off the internet, sorry. Uh, this is about believe 61 or 63 files and uh, I'm actually going to run all these and then I'm going to scan with uh, and remove malware with these following programs uh, just to tell you now these are not on-demand scanners um, they're not real-time protection they only work like whenever you open them up uh, now you can buy like malware bytes and super nice spyware and I think Super Inspire was actually free, but uh, maybe Hitman Pro, and you can buy those products, and they will run all the time. So, okay, so I'm going to start running these pieces of malware on the system, and I'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to pause and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, I'm back and uh, I personally think I ran about uh, 10 to 20, maybe even 25, 30 pieces of malware. And uh, there's some stuff on this computer now. And as you can see, this is one of the files, so I'm actually going to uh, restart the computer. And I will come back in safe mode. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back in a minute. So now here we go. Uh, Windows just actually popped up and said that system failed to start. So it's going back here and asked me to do a system restore. But I actually said no. Uh, I'm just going to try to get it just to start up in the safe mode. Uh, that's one way you can actually fix these pieces of malware uh, or viruses or anything you have. Um, system restore. But I'm not really sure. Sometimes it fails. Sometimes it doesn't work right. just depends. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to uh, let this finish, I guess, and I'll be back in a minute. So I'll see you then. Okay, so um, here we are in safe mode. Um, uh, I loaded up some more malware in safe mode, actually, because I don't think there was enough or uh, much at all. So I'm actually going to start up MS config and see. As you can see, a lot of this crap is not supposed to be here. The only thing that should be here is VMware tools, because I did not install any of this. Well, I installed it, but a vast antivirus, I did not install a vast. So I'm going to restart the computer and I should boot back up in regular mode. Then I'm going to first start off with a combo fix and then I'll run the rest of the program. So um, I guess I'll just stay on here for this to boot up for a second. Hopefully it can boot up without a problem. I actually have two monitors now so um, I keep the recorder on one and I uh, keep different stuff like Skype and Xfire and MSN all on that one too so it gives me more space to work with <coughs> should be loading up any second 
I've never personally used um, Combo Fix, but uh, it seems like a good program. As I said, um, this is not actually antivirus software, it's just to remove the malware and viruses. Uh, and see, this is a fake antivirus, intranet, mat, whatever the hell that is. It's not real. Um, so I'm actually going to go in here and see this is fake. I'm going to boot up Combo Fix. It says it's only compatible with XP in 2000, Windows 2000, so I'm actually going to take a look and see if it is or how compatible it is, rather. Uh, it is not recommended to run this with an antivirus program running in the background. Uh, disable the antivirus or um, turn it off, but uh, the following websites are not in any way afflicted to combo fix. So these following few purchase so do not purchase this program as it's saying. I just got mine from download.com. Um, basically it's free. So freeware. So what we got here is combo fix. There's a new version so I'm going to actually update it. And it opens like in a CMD uh, a CMD window so So it's going to restart, it says. Um, so yeah, this is one of the programs you can use, Combo Fix. Another one is Malwarebytes. Uh, another one, Hitman Pro. Norton Power Eraser. Um, Super Any Spyware, but if you're, like, if you have at least some common sense, you're not going to go on a website and download tons of malware. Um, you will check and see if it's legit. There's also a website called VirusTotal.com. It will let you upload files and it'll tell you which virus vendors, um, which vendors told you if it is a uh, a potentially M1 program or any kind of malware or something like that. So um, yeah. So we see here attempting to create a new restore point. That's the first way to get rid of malware. Uh, restore point. Um, I would disable it, but I'm not going to. So I'll check something really fast. Okay, scanning for infected files. This typically doesn't take more than 10 minutes. However, scan times for badly infected machines may easily double. So I am going to with this scan and I'm gonna get wait one second and I'll show you something. Guess I'll allow that. I don't even know what that is. So here we go. Completed stage one, completed stage two. So there's multiple stages it'll go through. I'm going to pause the video and whenever something pops up, I'll be right back with you guys. Also, I just want to show you a few things that um as you can see, um like right here, this fake toolbars here. Cannot access any websites I doubt which is because if you go to tools and then options connections land settings yeah see the proxy is not installed but yet the internet is still blocked by malware um, and let's see what else we have here if we try to go to um, any website it won't allow, it won't allow us because this search QU is installed whatever that is so if you go to my computer, live internet, I have no idea what that is because that's not real. Guarantee that's not supposed to be there. 
this is not supposed to be here. So yeah, there's just multiple programs that are not supposed to be installed. Now this combo fix will not take out everything, but for the most part it will take out a good bit of um, just a little bit of everything. But um, let's see here, Komodo, or not Komodo, sorry. Um, I was actually going to use Komodo Cleaning Essentials, but I just wanted to take a look at Combo Fix and see how good it will do. Hitman Pro, Hour Bytes, Norm Power Eraser, and Super Nice Fire will also run skins with those. Like I said, unless you have no, um, unless you have no common sense, you uh, basically will not install a bunch of malware. So yeah, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, and I guess I'll talk to you guys in. Alrighty guys, as you can see, um, it's actually deleting files right now. Um, let's see. Delete a few toolbars, messenger. So yeah, basically these, these are all fake. Um, I will let it run, and I'll be back whenever it stops. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, it's preparing the log report. Do not run any program until combo fix has finished. As you can see, we still got an IRC program right here. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because uh, it got, for the most part, it looks like it got everything, but I'm just going to wait a second. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, guys, here I am. And uh, as you can see, there's a big list of programs of everything that it deleted. Uh, so, yeah, pretty big amount of stuff. Uh, so yeah. So now I'm going to run a scan with uh, power bytes. Uh oh. Okay, there's still something in this computer. Let's see if I can access the internet or not. Illegal. I'm actually going to restart the machine and we'll see if uh, it has to be removed or something. So I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so here we are booted up in safe mode and I'm running at full scan with uh, malware bytes and we'll see what it catches. And um, I'll be back in maybe a few minutes. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, um, as you can see the uh, scan by Hitman Pro just finished and it found a good bit of stuff. Trojans, rootkits, malware, malware, trojans, malware, trojan, malware, rootkit, riskware, malware, tracking cookies. So we'll go to the next and we're going to like activate the free license that they give you 30 days. Yeah, let's wait a second. Okay. So I'm actually going to. You get to quarantine, remove, delete, whatever. So yeah. 66 pieces of malware were just removed with that one click. Not that hard at all. So as you can see, the malware bite scan has found 51 things. I am going to go ahead and install Norton Power Eraser. And I'm going to run a scan with this, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Um... Right now the scan finished and um, found a few things, so I'm just going to remove really select it. Then I'll remove it in a minute. And then if we go to Norton Power Eraser filled, by the way, it didn't remove the air, so. I'm going to scan with this.
So I'll just um, let this finish updating and then I'm gonna scan and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the final scan. Um, as you can see, it has tracked uh, or caught some registry keys. I'm going to remove these. I'm going to do a full reboot and I'm going to start up in regular mode or normal mode rather. Seems a little slow. Not sure. Second here. Okay, so as you can see, the computer's booted back up. It seems like it works fine, rather. Let's check the internet. As you can see, this live internet thing is still here. But. Like I said, this is not going to take out all the malware. Your best bet would be to reinstall Windows or use a restore point. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully if you ever need it, it's helpful to you. Hopefully you will never need it, but just in case, here it is. So uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Also my, uh, one second. My partner, um, A C A F A C A A one. His name is Alexander, and uh, he's a good guy. He can test very well. So uh, yeah, be sure to sub him too. So uh, okay, I guess that's it. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.